So I'm Chris Sherian, developer of the Water's Edge Resort in Bear Lake. We've always wondered what people thought about Bear Lake, so today we're gonna hit the streets of Salt Lake City, find some random strangers, maybe find some people we know, and we're gonna ask them what they think about Bear Lake. Here we go. Mandy, yeah. you're from Salt Lake, you grew up here. I did, yeah. Okay, excellent. So uh, have you been to Bear Lake? I've never been. You've never been to Bear Lake? Never. <laughs> like to go. Why not? Well, I guess I just don't know much about it. Okay. Cleveland, Ohio. Why are you here? Just traveling, doing some uh, national parks, nice. seeing uh, the beautiful state of Utah. In the winter. In the winter, yep. yeah. That was good. Good call. <laughs> and non-skiers too, so. Oh, and non-skiers. <laughs> Excellent. I'm a non-skier too. Excellent. All right. Okay. There's more of us. And I live here. Um, okay, so uh, have you ever heard of Bear Lake? I've heard of it yeah. a couple moments ago. You did? Not familiar. Okay, do you, so you don't know where Bear Lake's located? Nope. Yes. How long have you lived in Utah? Uh, 20 years. Okay, very good. Have you heard of Bear Lake? Yes. Have you ever been to Bear Lake? Twice. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. How far away is it from here? Uh, about an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, are you from Salt Lake? Yes. How long have you been in the area? About 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of Bear Lake? Yes. Have you been to Bear Lake? Yes. You have? Yeah. Okay. So about how far is Bear Lake from where you live? Uh, it's about probably two and a half, three hours. Okay. Hey, all right. Hey, uh, so Bear Lake. Have you been to Bear Lake? Years ago. A couple years of ago. times. Okay. Uh, how far is Bear Lake from your house? Mm -hmm. If you were to drive there, how long would it take? Gordon, where are you from? I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada. And live in, in the Avenues, just right. Oh, nice. How long have you been in Salt Lake? Uh, 12 years. Perfect. And Parker? Yeah, I also grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada. Moved here from California about two years ago. Oh, nice. I live okay. in Sandy. Sandy, excellent. Okay. Okay, question number one. Uh, have you guys heard of Bear Lake? Yes. Have you been to Bear Lake? Not yet. You have not. What comes to your mind when you think of Bear Lake? The lake, warm weather, outdoors, and I just rustic. I think of uh, a lot of people. It seems like there's a lot of people that just hang out at the beach there. It seems like there's like a new destination for a lot of the people that I know. Anyway, that either rent cabins or just spend weekends up there lately. Beautiful water. Beautiful water. Pretty sunsets. Beautiful sunsets. Mm -hmm. Um. Cold water. Cold water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all I remember. Is it? Am I when facing him? Yeah, I walk arms or anything? Yes, hold hands maybe. Hold hands yeah. a little bit. <laughs> okay, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Bear Lake winter? Um, ice fishing, snowmobiling. Freezing, cold. That sounds really positive. Her count has <laughs> changed. Snowmobiles. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love snowmobiles. Um, don't go. It's cold. There's snow. I don't know. I don't know if anything happens at Bear Lake. Right, right. right. Let's rephrase. I'm making a more multiple choice type of scenario, okay? So let's say you're stranded in the summer. No, winter. Let's say you're stranded in the winter okay. in Bear Lake. You can bring one sport. Multiple choice. A, snow skiing. B, Snowshoeing. C, let's see, A, B, C is cross country skiing. Number four would be ice fishing. Right. Snowmobiling. Snowmobiling is kind of cool too. Yeah. Or five would be sitting in your lake house that was just <laughs> built in front of the fireplace, enjoying the beautiful winter scenery of Bear Lake, sipping on a glass of wine. Well, my wife's right there, so I'm going to have to go with option five because I know that's what she would want. <laughs> skiing and then go back to the Lakeside, you know what you can. My that's a, that's I a good. That's, what I that's a good answer. What would be snowshoe during the day? Go chill at night. Hit the nice restaurant. Uh, that's a I tough go, one. Huh? I would go eat. Yeah. By eat the fire. Food, yeah. yeah. Would you want rich there? Yes. <laughs> you pick more than one. Yeah, you could pick more than one. I would say snowshoeing. Yeah. And then come in and relax and have that glass of wine by the fire. E is a sport. You know, I'm sitting in a fire by a fire. Yes. On my glass. That's of wine. a good sport. I would take E. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Choice. Um, I'm thinking about what question I'm going to ask. I'm not sure what it is yet. So I'm going to put on my glasses and I'm going to cheat you. Okay. Blue, beautiful turquoise water. Okay. And um, my, my multiple choice question now is how does it get that color? 
So A, it's just mm -hmm. a little too close to the power plant. <laughs> kind of glows in the dark, you know what I mean? B, there's an underground aquifer that connects Lake Tahoe to Bear Lake and they share that crystal clear water. C, the county of Bear Lake spends 193,436, $193,436, $193,468, $194,486, $934,348, that's way too much money. A year on blue dye number 36. <laughs> or D, am I doing D's or numbers? D? Yeah, D. I'm on D? Yeah. yeah. There's some sort of limestone deposit that is suspended in the water that reflects the sky and creates that beautiful color. I'm guessing D. D. That might be the right one. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. okay. So here I am with Kip Watanuki. Spell that. I did. You did? Yes. Okay. You got a good time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Oh, really? For a good time, call <laughs> Kip Watanuki. Everyone knows that. That's it. <laughs> I gotta redo that question. <laughs> that question doesn't make sense really, does it? I mean, we use Kip for heaven's sakes. How serious can be? <laughs>